Hello YouTube, in this video I'll be going over the process I took to create what I'll call a prehistoric ring, and I'm calling it that because of a few of the materials I'll be integrating into it. So first we'll start with the titanium core, and these are super lightweight and strong which will make for a comfortable and durable ring. And then next I'll be adding two forms of meteorite, first these fragments and second these shavings just to diversify the look of the ring. And you can pause it here to check out the details of the fragments I've used with, on this little card. And our third ingredient will be these fossilized dinosaur bone pieces. And fourth will be these amethyst crystals. Uh, amethyst is transparent and will add an awesome look of depth to an otherwise opaque ring, so that's why we're going to be adding that. And then fifth, we will be using this aqua strontium illuminate glow powder. And strontium illuminate is just a powder that absorbs light and emits it back out over time as a nice glow. And this will really add to the uniqueness of an already pretty insane ring. And our final ingredient will be these three color pigments, which we'll be mixing to the glow powder. And my customer has requested a mostly purple ring overall, so we'll be using mostly purple, but we'll add small amounts of this black and blue just to give it sort of a deep space look. Alright, to get things started, I'll mount the titanium ring core onto this expanding ring mandrel. And by the way, if you're looking for where to find any of the items I used in this video, just check the description and I'll have all the information you need there. Now I'll just dab on a small amount of some thin cyan acrylate glue into the groove on the ring, and then I'll add an amethyst crystal to it, and then you'll see that I crush it, and that's just to give it somewhat of a starburst effect. And then I'll just continue adding the crystals as well as start adding some meteorite and dinosaur bone pieces until I've got as many of these materials as will fit into the ring without making the ring look too overcrowded and then just leave plenty of room for some glow powder to let that have an effect as well. Now I'll start to sprinkle on some of this aqua glow powder and I added purple pigment to this cup and so that'll be one of three colors that I'll add to it. And then after the purple glow, I'll put down some more glue and then sprinkle on some more glow powder, this time with the blue pigment in it. And I'll just continue with more glue and add some black glow powder. And now we'll just wait for it to dry. Um, you can use CA glue accelerator if you've got it and if not just wait a little longer for it to dry and once it's completely dry we'll go ahead and start grinding the inlay down to the level that the titanium's at and we'll just be using a dremel for that while we're spinning the lathe and once you get to this point you'll probably find a few uh, little voids in the ring so you'll want to go back and add some CA glue and some glow powder And then after the final grinding with the Dremel, we'll go ahead and give it a rough finish just by going through all the different grits of sandpaper. We'll be giving it a final polish, so don't worry too much about getting it perfect this time around. Now we'll give the inside of the ring a satin finish, and to do this I usually start with about 200 grit sandpaper and end on 400 grit. And I do the satin finish as I find it to be very comfortable, um, but not slippery to the point where it might fall off your finger while you're washing your hands for example. Now I've got it mounted back on the ring mandrel for the final finishing and you can see I used a piece of 800 grit sandpaper to protect the inside finish of the ring from getting scratched just by the steel mandrel. So my customer requested a brushed finish on this ring so I'm going to use 200 grit sandpaper and very carefully sand the titanium edges of the ring while being careful not to scratch the inlay. And I'll repeat this step again, but this time with the 300 grit sandpaper, and that'll just give us that final brushed finish we're looking for. And with that, the ring is done. I think it turned out pretty cool. Um, I'll leave some final pictures of the ring. Some are under the light, and then some are in the dark, just to show that aqua glow color. 
And if you liked the video, then please give it a like and maybe consider subscribing. And if you disliked it, then give it a dislike and let me know how I can improve my next video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.